Happy October, everybody. This is Gabriel John Combs. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Silent Hill 1 for the PlayStation 1. In the last video, we, uh, we put in our three keys for Eclipse. We searched Silent Hill. We put in our three keys for Eclipse. Made our way to Midwich Elementary School. And did a little bit of exploring. Orientation at Midwich Elementary. In this video, we're going to be doing the clock tower puzzle, or at least some of it. So, um, yeah. Um, just say one thing about Silent Hill, about the Silent Hill series. Um, I will be doing this a little bit quicker than most viewers. Most viewers would do Silent Hill every October, which is every 12 months. I'm going to be doing mine every six, every six months. Meaning, October, this October is Silent Hill 1, maybe this November as well. So that means, November, December, January, February, March. So that means this April coming, I will be doing Silent Hill 2. And then, in a year's time, October 2014, I'll be doing Silent Hill 3. April 2015, I'll be doing... Silent Hill 4, then October 2015 I'll be doing Silent Hill Origins, and so on, until we reach Silent Hill Downpour. I will be doing mine twice as fast as most viewers. So with that, let's uh, let's get started. Let's load her up, uh, the ISO. No, we do not want to play Mega Man 8, we want to play Silent Hill. There are violent and disturbing images in this game. I tried recording this earlier, and it saved via the game, and not saved via the emulator. Yeah, we don't need to see all that again. So, let's load our file. And we go to the infirmary. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, let's continue, shall we? So, yeah, being in the school, there's a lot to do. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're actually gonna come out here. And make our way all the way down here to the girls' washroom. Mm, not really much of interest. It's not a pickup item, is it? No, it is not. So there's nothing of interest in here, so we can just exit again. Okay, there is something interesting here a gray child. That's the thing about these places and that's the good thing about easy mode. The good thing about easy mode there's only one enemy everywhere. So with that out of the way we'll kill the gray child out here and then we'll continue on with the clock tower puzzle. Okay, so we come up here. Don't face plant the clock tower. The tower door is locked. Okay, the hands are stopped at 10 o'clock. Okay, so the hands are stopped at 10 o'clock, meaning you come up here. It's written in blood. 10 o'clock. Alchemy Laboratory. Gold in an old man's palm. The future hidden in his fist. Exchange for Sage's water. Alchemy Laboratory. If we look at that on our map. Second floor. 
the closest thing to an alchemy lab is the chemistry lab. And that's where we're going. No, I did not want to click roof. But the chemistry lab is where we're heading. So let's go. So following the hallway here, following the very dark hallway, we come up here to the second floor. And it sounds like we have a playmate in here. On the computer desk. Uh, no, slow down. Uh, not the disc. I downloaded it. Yes. Dude. I'm in a recording right now. Yes, I am. Uh, you you can stay in and listen to me do commentary if you're so long. I won't be too too long. No, we are watching it tonight. I will not be long. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Daddy wants me to watch the new movie, Fright Night 2, New Blood. Didn't come out in theaters. Only been released last week. And already on a Blu-ray disc. So anyway, we're not going to do much exploring here. We're just going to quickly make our way to the lab equipment room. Uh, that would be this door, I'm pretty sure. I'm correct. So we come here to the library reserve, or the laboratory reserve, sorry, to pick up something here. There is a chemical. Take it? Sure. Yes, please. And all of a sudden, another playmate's out here. Try not to waste all your bullets. You're going to need them for the first boss later. But more on that later. I won't talk about that now. So anyway, here in the chemistry lab, we come across a hand. Statue of an old man's hand. The fist is shut tight, as if to never let go. Well, we have something to fix that. We use the chemical. Be careful, Harry. Be careful. There is a gold medallion. Take it. Yes, please. And I do believe I know something else in my menu. I am at red health. I am almost dead. First aid, please. Okay. So, oh, hey, hi. How's it going? Never noticed you out there. So anyway, now we can make our way down to the clock tower once again. We can make our way quickly down to the clock tower again in hot, stiff-legged pursuit. Uh, we have to go right here. A golden sun. Well, we have something to fit the golden sun. It's called the golden medallion. A golden sun. Okay. The tower door is locked. The hands are stopped at 12 o'clock. So if we check reception, we find our next one, which I do believe is this one. It's written in blood. Wrong one. Which means this one right here is the correct one. It's written in blood. 12 o'clock. A place with songs and sound. A silver guidepost is untapped in lost tongues, awakening at the ordained order. 
So, a place with songs and sounds. A place with songs and sounds. That would be the music room. The music room is where we are heading right now. So, we have to go back up to the second floor. So we have to quickly make our way back up to the second floor. But this time instead of making our way all, all the way through there, we're going to try going down this way, like quickly to the music room, and see if that helps. And it's unlocked. And we have more playmates. Two of them this time. Sorry, sorry to kill you, playmates, but you guys are trying to kill us, and that's not cool. Anyway, so we come across our next thing, which is kind of a semi puzzle that goes along with the clock tower puzzle. It's written in blood. Of course it is. A tale of birds without a voice. First flew to greedy pelican, eager for the reward, white wings flailing. Then came a silent dove, flying beyond the pelican, as far as he could. A raven flies in, flying higher than the dove, just to show that he can. A swan glides in to find a peaceful spot, next to another bird. Finally, out comes a crow, coming quickly to a stop, yawning and then napping. Who will show the way? Who will be the key? Who will lead to the silver reward? In this case... The silver medallion. So if we come over here to our puzzle, we're actually going to be doing this puzzle, this semi puzzle thing, and continuing on with the clock tower puzzle in the next video. But let's just have a look. There are uh, blood keys on the piano. Does it mean something? Check the piano. Yes. So let's have a look. That makes noise. That don't. Okay, that one don't make noise. Okay, so there are some there that just goes that makes noise and there's other that just goes the the ones they're the ones that you need to click in a certain order to get the silver medallion. Which, which we will be doing in the next video. Yes, which we will be doing in the next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the, the series so far for Silent Hill 1. I hope you guys will continue watching my videos. And until next time, this is Gabriel John Coombs saying, Happy October, everybody. Oh, wait, that's not right. Saying adios. Whoops, wrong thing. Saying adios, amigos.